In this video, we're going to go over the latest Star Citizen leak news and we're going straight into it. The first one that I want to cover is the Drake Cutter has two new variants that they're currently working on. The very first one is the Cutter, the Drake Cutter Expedition. Now the Drake Cutter Expedition variant appears to have a place where you can physically store a flight suit. In addition to that, there is a bed and a small table to sit and eat in the midsection of the ship. In the back, you have some cargo space as well. With the cutter, the cutter doesn't have too much. I think two SCU of um, maybe four SCU worth of cargo. So um, you're still going to have a, at least maybe one or two SCU. Um, but we'll see the official number once it actually releases. The very next one is the cutter scout. Now the scout has a radar dish at the top exterior and it can deploy and retract similar to the MSR and the Terrapin. Unfortunately, there's no detail on how scouting will work in relation to these radar dishes, but we'll for sure talk about it once we get information on that. In the interior, there appears to be a small station that will allow you to operate the radar dish, perhaps probe. So that's going to be interesting. They did speak about probing as something that you could do system wise, where you can actually probe different areas within a particular um, star system like for example you can be in crusader and maybe probe areas in maybe r corp area or something like that with um depending on the range you have on your ship um and the, the type of systems you have installed including your radar dish okay so that's going to be something interesting once we get our hands on more information on that mechanic all right up next is a simple creature xml files have been found so now in regards to these simple creatures they have combat state idle state monitor target so if it finds something that maybe it wants to eat or it sees as a threat it can just keep an eye on that target and there's going to be some behavioral um, activities that it's going to perform um, once it's in that mode next it says moving with tps not sure what that means and also there seems to be some reaction of hearing and seeing hostile targets as well as a general reaction for um, anything that it may may not deem as a threat as well so that's going to be interesting to see how these creatures behave they've also found in the xmls that these creatures will react when receiving damage so these are things that are defined in the xml files remember all these lead videos are um, take them with a grain of salt because it could change and we don't know it hasn't been fully confirmed yet so these are things that are just finding in the xml files all right up next is npc ai behavior for cargo gameplay so now the first thing that they found is there's going to be an ability for the npcs to carry boxes to uh th the delivery area right as well as clean up the trolleys and move boxes from a trolley to a certain area so essentially what these uh, npcs are going to be able to do is use a trolley go to the pickup area pick up all the cargo boxes and fill the trolley and once the trolley is filled then it will move it to the delivery area where it would offload these boxes so now that's going to be interesting from the sounds of it, it seems that these npcs will be at cargo facilities and um, for example, the cargo decks, and we will be seeing the moving items from one area to the next. What I'm curious about is, will the actions of these NPCs have an in-game impact? For example, will their progress of moving boxes be tied to the player's request to move boxes from their ship to the facility or vice versa? So that's gonna be something that I'm curious on hearing more about and uh, hopefully we get it uh, sooner than later. Next it says holding expected object. I'm assuming that there's going to be, the NPCs are going to be holding something that it doesn't actually want. It's not really assigned to carry, but maybe it needs to move something out of the way and uh, maybe there's gonna be some behavioral uh, mechanics in that as well. Is the trolley full? So it's going to be able to do assessment to see, okay, while I'm loading onto the trolley, has it reaches full capacity before I need to move it. So these are the little things that they're finding in the XML files pertaining to the NPC behavior um, in relation to the cargo gameplay. So now whether this is going to be for the PU or if it's going to be for a squadron, 
I know it eventually moves over to PU from Squadron, but Squadron will get this mechanic first, but hopefully we get this in the PU sooner than later. If they actually pull this off in the PU, where the AI is able to move boxes from one area to fill up a trolley, then to move the trolley from another area to offload somewhere else, I'd admit, that'll be pretty cool. Whether this will be a smooth experience is something else. We'll have to wait and see because as of late, the AI and Star Citizen have not been performing well. Last but not least, they have found XML files pertaining to Titan suits. And in regards of Titan suits, there are going to be mounts on them, which will allow for upgrading um, your Titan suit. So I'm curious if we're going to actually see this in the PU soon. It would be cool to actually see Titan suits, at least some images or how they're going to behave. I'm curious to see the sizes of them. We will be able to store these things in our ships and things of that nature. You guys let me know your thoughts on this down below. I'll see you on the next video.